welcome to the poor man's retro game room and today's an exciting day uh, I have been working on a project and I shouldn't say I I guess uh, we I have two friends at work uh, Devin and Thomas uh, that donated PC parts uh, from computers that were you know back in the day these, these parts weren't being used um, and instead of throwing those parts away they donate them uh, donated them to me and we got together at Thomas's house on a Saturday and just built this computer. So um, we, <laughs> uh, Thomas and I were, we we went over 12 hours just just working on this machine. So um, and then Devin, of course, uh, he um, coined the term Frankenstein uh, PC, and that's exactly what this is. Uh, he donated a bunch of parts as well. We put all those parts uh, in my case, in an old case, and um, yeah, it, it's way overpowered, but everything in it is uh, Windows XP compliant and compatible. So uh, we got it done, and uh, today I'm excited to show you my Frankenstein Windows XP sleeper machine. Let's take a look. So looking at this machine, I mean, it looks you know, like an old computer. <laughs> Definitely an old case, right? And uh, if you take a little bit of a closer look, you will find some interesting things. There's a Blu-ray burner in the top five and a quarter uh, bay. Also have a DVD burner below that. You know, that's fairly, fairly modern. Uh, below that, you're gonna have a floppy disk and it's a USB uh, 2.0 floppy disk drive. And it also has some proprietary, um, like Sony memory cards that can go in there as well. And then you're gonna see this grill, which is kind of interesting. That flips open, you know, that's kind of cool. Um, I don't know if you see that in modern cases, uh, but it, that's kind of cool. Kind of brings back some nostalgia to me. And then over here on the side, we have a filter. You can see that a little better. That filter comes in and out. You can take that out and clean it. Um, so, you know, that's pretty cool. All right. Yeah, let's take the side panel off of this and see what's inside. Once you pull the side panel off, that's when things get pretty interesting here. Um, I've got a Radeon 6970 Lightning video card. That's a Twin Frozer 3 MSI model. Um, this was given to me by my friend uh, at work. And uh, it came to him out of another computer that somebody wasn't using. He passed it on to me. Uh, very thankful for that. And we put it to good use. And this video card is so big and so long that we had to saw the side, the, uh, <laughs> the hard drive bay in half just to get that video card in. Um, the length of that card and the size of that card is just ridiculous. It runs absolutely perfectly in this machine. We've got uh, 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, we've got a AMD 8350 processor and it is cooled with a water cooler, a water block radiator there. Uh, we've got a push-pull configuration. Um, with the fans blowing pushing air over the radiator and pulling it through the other side uh, everything runs extremely cool in this machine I mean extremely cool overclocking is very very possible and uh, everything is on a Asus Republic of Gamers motherboard um, just the cream of the crop motherboard back in the day all right let's see if uh if this Frankenstein XP sleeper is alive. Go over here, hit the power button, and look at that. Look at that. This is beautiful, and it might be a little extra beautiful to me because I had a part in building this computer. All right, so let's boot this thing up. Yeah. 
and right away you're going to see that it can't find any device. What that's saying is that it can't find the CPU fan cooler. <laughs> and that's because there's a water block on it. It's, it's water cooled. All right, second thing you're going to see is it's dual boot. So let's try Windows XP. Now what dual boot allows me to do is you can still connect to the internet on Windows 7. You can you could actually do it on Windows XP, but I'm not messing with the internet on Windows XP. Um, so you can connect to the internet on Windows 7. You can download uh, drivers, you know, get everything going. There's art, there's some games there also that may not play well on XP that play very good in Windows 7. So it's just a really um, excellent way, you know, to download drivers to play just a huge span of PC games um, with Windows XP and Windows 7 installed. It's very, very cool. All right, so we got Windows XP 64 bit, uh, professional 64 bit edition here. Um, let's, uh, let's fire up some Doom 3. And I will tell you that I have ran uh, Fraps. I, I don't have it installed right now, but um, I was getting, you know, steady 60 frames per second. The CPU and GPU stay at a very nice, um, cool degrees while you're playing, of course. All right. Also a cool thing about having Windows 7 on is I connected to my uh, GOG account, greatoldgames.com, and am able to download some of the games in my library and run them on Windows 7. So very cool having a dual boot system. <laughs> I'm going to need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bio scan. This will only take a second. Okay, let me get this started. You're going to need to hold still. Moving around only makes the test take longer. All right, bio scan looks good. You're cleared for entry. UAC, as you can see, city. this facility serves as the Doom 3 runs absolutely perfect. Attention, Director Banks, and please report to Central Administration. Goal number one that the UAC <laughs> Sounds is good too. and will be. Welcome to Mars. First time? You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it set up your quarters. All right. Okay. All right. Let's try some Diablo. <laughs> so we're we're covering some. Some time range here. Let's see if we can get it to run on XP. Yeah, look at there. <laughs> Check it out. And look at that. Run 
Sounds perfect. Sound is perfect. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Let's see if uh, Windows XP can run DOSBox. Let's try a little blood. See, it's running perfectly. Game's not very good. <laughs> That's me, that ain't the computer. Open for business. Alright, let's see, uh, let's check out another DOS game. Well, let's see here, let's go for... Doom, of course. Runs Doom okay. Shall we check out some Windows 7? Let's do it. Can't find any device. Republic of Gamers. This really is a pretty good setup right here. <laughs> All right, let's go Windows 7. There you go. There's Windows 7. All right, let's fire up some Witcher. And uh, this is the original Witcher, Enhanced Edition. Thank <laughs> you. 
Intruders are? Ordinary bandits would never attack Kaer Morin. That we know, Marigold. You can try some of your famous magic. In due time, Lambert. Enough! We need to check the other possible passages to the upper courtyard. Well, there you have it. Windows 7 sleeper machine. Uh, everything that I ran today as far as the XP games, um, Doom 3, The Witcher, everything set at the highest possible settings and it runs just perfectly fluid fast um, excellent machine I can't be happier with this build Windows 7 Windows XP dual boot sleeper machine I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day <laughs>